Okay, let's have a look at the first question here. Now, let's um, simplify this. So 4 minus 2i over 2 plus 4i. Multiply above and below by the conjugate. 2 minus 4i over 2 minus 4i. So when we multiply out the top, let's see, that's 8. 4 times 2 is 8. Then minus 16i minus 4i plus 8i squared is minus 8. And then on the bottom, it'll be 4 uh, minus 8i plus 8i uh, minus 16i squared. Plus 16. So that would be minus 20i over 20, which equals minus i, which equals 0 minus i, i.e. k is um, minus 1. Solve this. We could use the Morvum or we could just um, Solve the following equation as well. A plus bi squared equals minus 5 plus 12i. So that's one way to solve it. Or you could use Morvum's. I'm not really sure what they intended here because the next question is Morvum. So maybe they were kind of picturing people would do this. I'm not sure. If I expand here, um, I get a squared plus 2abi plus b squared i squared. So that's minus b squared equals minus 5 plus 12i. So uh, reals equals reals. a squared minus b squared equals minus 5. And imaginaries equal imaginaries. 2ab equals 12. So that means ab equals 6, which means a equals 6 over b. Um, so if I sub that in, um, I get 36 over b squared minus b squared equals minus 5. And multiply by b squared, I get um, 36 minus b power 4 equals minus 5b squared. Take everything to the right, I get b4 minus 5b squared minus 36 equals 0. Um, 9 and 4. b squared minus 9 and b squared minus 4, right? A uh, plus 4, plus 4 equals 0. So it only means... Uh, B squared could only be 9. B squared can't be minus 4. So if B squared is 9, that means B is plus or minus 3. Uh, which would mean then that A is 6 over B. So it would be 6 over plus or minus 3. So it would be plus or minus 2. In other words, 2 plus 3i or minus 2 minus 3i are the two answers here. Uh, De Morvum's theorem. So, so straightforward. There's actually other ways to do it than using De Morvum's theorem. But anyways, um, z cubed equals minus 8. Minus 8 as a general polar form would be um, eight times well minus h would be here so the theta is 180 degrees so that's cos 180 but it's in in general polar form so that's plus 360 n plus i sine 180 plus 360 n uh, but then we have to cube root it 
So z would be 2 times cos, and then each of these get every angle gets multiplied by a third. So that would be 60 plus 120n plus i sine 60 plus 120n. So z0, z1, and z2. Um, z0, n is 0, that's cos 60. <sighs> What's cos 60? Um, cos 60 is a half. So that's a half, and that's root 3 over 2. So that will be 1. 2 times a half is 1, and 2 times root 3 over 2 is root 3. Um, n is 1, that would be 120, 180, cos 180 minus 1, and that's 0, so that would be minus 2. And then the last one would be 1 minus root 3i then. Okay, okay.